In this tutorial, I'm going to very quickly explain what layers do and how they work. What I want you to do first is open up some images that you want to work with. I'm just going to go to Control O for File and Open, and I'm just going to grab a few images of um, Beyonce and select Open. And here I've got two images of Beyonce. Now you'll notice if I click on this image, it brings up the layer background layer and it's locked like we've seen in previous tutorials like so if I select on this it will bring up the layer for that if you can't see the layer options just go to windows and go to layers <coughs> and what I'm now going to do is I basically want to merge those together so I'm just going to go to file new or control n or command n for the Mac and I'm just going to type in say for example 800 by 600 and color mode I want RGB color and I'm just going to select OK and you'll see that I've got a new canvas now what I'm going to do is I want to paste those images into here into one collective image and I'm going to select the previous image and press control A or command A for the Mac or we could have went to select and go to select all is the same and I'm just going to copy that so control C and control V so I've pasted that like so and I'm going to do the same for the other image like so I'm going to press control A control C and control V and now you've noticed that here are my two images like so so I'll just zoom in a bit okay so we're viewing that 100 I'll maximize that now you'll notice on the um, layers that I can drag this layer here now if you want to select this layer if I click here I'm still dragging the same layer that's obviously because I've got layer 2 selected if you want to make any changes to layer 1 we'd have to select that layer and then um, make the relevant changes like so layers work from um, bottom up so whatever you see above is the one closest to you so to demonstrate that if I select layer 1 and drag that up you'll see that it appears up as well so a lot of the graphics and artwork you'll see online or in commercials are based upon various various layers so it's kind of compositing in um, imagery if you like okay so another cool feature when working with layers is you will need to um, select the layer and we've got the eye icon as well so we can switch off a layer for the visibility as well we could lock the layer so I could lock the layer 1 and now I can't make any changes because the layer is locked that also comes in handy I'll switch that switch that off like so and another really cool feature is we've got opacity so I can blend that down I can say blend that to 60 percent and we now have a ghostly Beyonce like so and we can also do the fill the same so I can do that as well and do the fill a nice quick trick that I want to show you is on your PC if you right click and you can select layer 2 as well sometimes when you're working with Photoshop you'll have so many layers and it's a quite annoying going back here and selecting the layer and then dragging it around so it makes life a bit more easier control um, sorry right click on the PC and click if you're on a Mac uh, CS3 I believe you can just click straight through should actually work so you can just click on a layer and drag it down rather than right clicking etc okay another quick feature that I want to show you in the layer which is um, the blending mode for that layer and again this can be very very interesting and I'll sh I want to do a lot more work on this with you guys um, a bit later I'm just gonna select the first layer and I'm just gonna go through to um, no open up the blending options and you'll see lots of different options like so and I'm just going to go to um, color burn like so and you can see that that color is burnt through the actual image so this is the kind of thing that that the blending options um, does I can also go to overlay which isn't going to make any much difference because of my um, saturated image I can also go to lighten I can also go to darken um, as well and I'll leave you guys to play around with this until your heart's content. I'll show you how to professionally use these in the later tutorials as well. So there, there you have it, the layers. Um, and to add a new layer, we can just select this tab, add new layer. So we create elements in a layer. So for example, I just want to create some text. And this text will be created in a nice new layer. 
okay here we go so okay and I'll just put oh I spelled that wrong sorry Beyonce okay so that's obviously been created in a new layer now to bin a layer we can just delete there um, and yes we're going to delete the text that's fine we can get rid of it and also to duplicate a layer we can press Control J or Command J on um, the Mac so we've now got two layers and if I switch off if I just move this layer here so we've got two exactly same layers okay and to bin it we can just bin it like so and I can bin that as well to duplicate, I'll show you another way of duplicating the layer, we can just drag it down here um, and I've seen a lot of people like to, I normally use Control J so we can keep duplicating that, I'll just move that to the left and I'll select that and move that to the right and you will see if I switch this on to my blending, so say for example I put that to 50 and I put that to 50, you'll see a, a blurred image so it's relatively quite simple when working with layers we can produce some sort of cool effects so that's the basics of layers that you kinda would need to know to get started with Photoshop in essence we'll do a lot more work on layers and I'll show you some more advanced tricks as well